Hi, I'm Elga Valoverta and this is about Jens Bugren's Lead and Clean Impulse Response Pack. All right, first let's listen a song I wrote specifically for this video. I'm gonna use Marshall JZM 800 223 from 1984 to distorted sounds and Marshall JZM 2000 TSL for clean sounds. And I'm only gonna use impulse responses from this Bullgrain's new pack on rhythm, leads and cleans. So let's check that out now. Alright, that was the song. Before we go to my Cubase screen, let's check out a couple of my favorite IRs from the pack here. So, what I have here, JTM800, like I said, Sir Reactive Load, and there's a Bullgrass Impulse Responses. The IR that I used on the left side on the rhythm and on the leads and on the left side of the clean is uh, probably my favorite of the pack and it's called Valo Virtuos. You know, so <clears throat> I guess it's pretty obvious where that comes from and who was involved. <laughs> so, but it sounds like this. This is kind of my new go to IR. Sound of God EQ2 was on the first package, which I still love, but this was just uh, the lows are a little bit tighter, the mids are a little bit more pronounced, 
and the really extra high highs are a little bit tamed down. So yeah, this is fantastic. <laughs> It works and clean as well. So, TSL, a little bit corals involved. Like that. And let's switch back to Martian and let's check out a couple of more. So, this was a Valo Virtuos. And the next one is butter my muffin 3 and with the clean sound All right, then uh, butter my muffin four. And damn, I'm good. As you can hear, these work on anything. Just fantastic IRs. You know, Jens has, again, done an outstanding job. Okay, then let's check the clean, clean package. First, 800, and yeah, this is boosted with a super overdrive. So, listen what happens with the clean IRs when the, it's the storage sound. It's kind of, whoa. So the cleans, I mean, if you want that really, then it, it's fine. But uh, the cleans are, because let's change the clean sound and let's take the, the Valo Virtuos. And now let's change to almost ACC. So you hear that nice, high, sparkly presence with, with distortion, it can be a little bit too much, but these are fantastic for cleans. And then one of my favorites is a, a Beefy B. And uh, hey, Bob. And telecast me. This is quite fat, but this works really well with, well, single call pickups, telecasters. Mm. And if I use that and switch the amp. <laughs> I 
come on. So. So as you hear, cabinet, speaker, microphones and the preamp that the microphones go, they play a huge part of your sound. According to Jens, he thinks like 80% and I, I agree, because you heard one amp and just by changing IRs, let's say, let's take this one, <laughs> this sexy time, this is, you know, just to show you how much an impulse response you know, uh, changes the sound. So you get this kind of my basic sound, you know, balanced to this like almost like Swedish death metal sound without the HM2. Because the cabinets and speakers, whatever was used and how Jens has EQ'd them, completely different sound. Okay, so now let's go to the, the screen and uh, I will show you a little bit detailedly uh, how these sound in the context of a mix. Okay, so here we are on the screen and these yellow ones, these are the guitar tracks I recorded while I filmed myself and then I just panned it to a couple of different tracks because you know for panning and the lead had some delay on it. But yeah, the song, let's check it out. And this is the lead IRs I'm using. So they work fantastically for the rhythm as well. And what I have here, because when I filled myself, I used the IRs that are loaded into Sir. So I had my recording input uh, as a Sir IR, but with these, I recorded the direct out from Sir. So just the sound without IR, and then I added the IR afterwards using a, a Libra, STL Tone slash Ignite Libra. This is a fantastic impulse response. And you know, you can do all kinds of tweaking to it, but the Bulgarian IRs are, Jens had tweaked them, so I haven't found to tweak them at all. And that's the whole idea. So the guitar left is the Valo Virtuos <laughs> impulse response, and it sounds like this. And the guitar left, let me just uh, switch it. It sounds like this if I... So two different IRs. Let's check this out. So that was the butter my muffin. Uh, two, which is on the left side, the right side. Together they 
sound really good. They complement each other really well. So one amp, two different IRs, kind of like almost having two amps. So the stereo picture is wider. And as you can hear, these have quite a lot of that high, which you want to have in the mix. So always when you dial your sound and choose the IR, use it, dial it in a context of mix. Because, I mean, you, you hear, it's kind of like... So, you know, it, it disappears there. And let's say, let me show you an example. Now, as you can see, there's no EQ going on, but if we put there like a cut that they would sound a little bit better on their own. There's not much difference, but this kind of high cut, usually it sounds better when you're playing yourself, because those really high highs can be a bit annoying. But in a mix, it isn't actually really audible, it just brings the guitars more forward. So if you want that aggressive, dense mix, then those really high highs need to be there. That's the air you might, at least I and Jens likes to have because his IRs have these. Some ha have more, some have less. Okay, and then the clean guitars. Let's check these out. So I had the Valo Virtuos, which was on the lead pack, on the left side of the cleans. And then on the right guitar, I had a almost ACC. And let's hear how these sounded when I change it a bit. As you can hear, you know, you can get like different sounds just by changing the IR. And again, you should decide the IR in a context of a mix like this. This almost AC is just, in my opinion, fit it really well. It complemented the Valo Virtuos IR uh, really well. And the, the lead sound, that was the Valo Virtuos. Just added a little bit uh, of uh, delay delay there and a little bit of a micro pitch kind of you know what I do just to make it a little bit more wider and lushier in the stereo field. So yeah great package and now they work with the Sur reactive load right out of the box because on the rhythm pack uh, there was some compatibili compatibility <laughs> problems but when you, you know, 
if you have that old pack, you know, email to them and they will send you versions that works with the uh, server like I did. And I guess they are also releasing, if they already haven't released, an updated version of the rhythm pack which works with Sir. So this works really fantastically. These are awesome. Ever since the rhythm IR pack was released, I haven't used anything else. And if you've seen my videos, I'm mostly I've used the Sound of God EQ2 version on everything. But now, Valo Virtuals, yeah, I, I really like that too. It's uh, basically kind of like the Sound of God, but the lows are a little bit tighter and the highs are a little bit. So it's not that. So it's just really tight and balanced IR, in my opinion, because you know, they listen to my wishes, which I'm grateful. But yeah, check the package out and the link in the description, you get a discount. It's my affili affiliate link if you use that link and purchase the package. So, strong recommendation for the Bullgrain Lead and Clean IR pack as well as the Rhythm pack. These work on everything. Hey, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like and subscribe. You know the drill. Take care. See you next time. Bye.